Hey folks, Brad coming at you here with some more mail. I got Redemption from Panini. That's always cool. Not the one I was wanting though, but. And the Dolphins pick up and something from the Immaculate Basketball Group break. So, first off, the Brady thing. Fell into right around where I thought. Four games. Hopefully it stands through all, you know, all the appeals process and junk. And then they hit him hard with the first round pick, a fourth round pick, and a million dollar fine, which obviously the owner ain't going to give a crap about that. But you can't complain with the punishment. You know, well, 80% of us who didn't have our heads up our rear and realized what Brady did, you know. I think there was only one Pats fan that commented who didn't like the idea of him being suspended in my last video. But the rest of us seemed like. About four games seem to be about the average of what we thought, and that's what happened, so good job, NFL, for once, I guess. I think it was right where the punishment should be, four games. So anyways, it ain't going to kill their season or anything. I think Garofalo can manage a two-and-two two through four games. Watch, he'll be the second coming, who knows. But if you got Garoppolo stuff, just keep it till right at the start of the season, and then bam, so. But anyways, to the what I got in the mail... From, this is a redemption. It must have been from a basketball break I was in like a year or two ago. Who knows? This is from 1314 Panini Signatures. It's like a film cell on card auto. Good time to get this, too. Golden State Warriors, Draymond Green. It is high numbered to 249, but still. Let's see. I don't know if you can pick it up. The little film cell thing, the jig guy. I don't have a black bag. You can kind of see it in there, but yeah. On card autograph. Nice card, Draymond Green. If I remember right, I think it was you, Mike Gathman, who who was collecting this guy. If so, and you want this, just let me know. It's yours. But if not, I'm sure there's some Warriors fan out there that will want it, but. Just got that in. Cool card. They really are neat looking cards. So, yeah, got that. Then Immaculate Basketball. I did a pick your team. I did two pick your teams. I actually picked the Bulls, which that'll be coming in the mail next week. I actually did decent with that, and then I did decent with the Celtics, and then I did one other one where I think I got like the Raptors and Mavs combo or something, and I didn't hit anything. So two out of three weren't bad. The Immaculate Basketball, usually the best product, one of the best products of the year, to be honest with you, in the last two years. And, of course, Panini found a way to screw that up as well. It's not as good this year. Now, they still have the big cards, but it's a much harder row to get there, you know? They shortened it from six boxes to five boxes in a case and charged the same price for a case and didn't give you as much content, so... Too many stickers, and just not enough big kabooms in there like they normally have in Immaculate. But I hit two nice cards for the Celtics, 69 to 75. I took them because I liked all their vets, and the guy had it priced, I thought, very reasonable. Just, you know, just a little bit above what a random would cost, and they're, you know, a top eight team, I'd say. So to 75, Robert Parrish. Again, the problem with this, sticker and 550 a box, folks. So, like I said, it's got some nasty stuff in it, but it doesn't come out near as often as it did the first two years of Immaculate. And then my favorite kind of cards are these guys. The autograph version of these are sick. This ain't autograph. 26 or 33, the numbers acetate patch auto, or not patch auto, but patch of Larry Bird. What up, Anthony? Let me know if you need any of these Celtics. Larry Legend. It's the acetate patches. Best cards in the set right there. That and the sneak peeks. Oh, I saw the Pippin sneak peek pulled 101. His shoe, and it had Pippin across of it, and it was even dirt, like it was a little like a wear and tear at the bottom. Oh, got a pants tent when I saw that pulled. I was like, that's amazing. So we got Larry Bird. Did pretty solid there. 
Like I said, you'll see the Bulls one next week. Nothing too crazy, but solid. And my pickup, which oddly enough, when I saw this card pulled and the product came out, because I kind of overlooked them on the checklist. I didn't notice it when I looked through the, you know, just kind of grazing through the checklist to see if there's anyone new in there. And I kind of glazed over this guy. And ever since I saw it, I was like, that's the one card I want from NT. And you're going to laugh when you find out who it is. And, <laughs> you know, but it's Punter Mojo. Brandon Fields, or Punter since I think like 2007. He has a jersey and patch card from Pro Bowl uniforms. And, yes, that is the card I've been wanting from NT. And I finally got it at a, the price because I keep putting a bid. I won't go over 12 ship for it. That is what I decided. I am not paying more than twelve dollars for punter mojo. Okay, I'm not doing it. So I bid on like three or four of these and finally won it. I think it was exactly twelve ship to me. But it's part of like the dolphin thing. Like I said, I got this for like twelve bucks. That was pretty much it's numbered to twenty five, seven of twenty five. Brandon Fields punter action right there. Patch card from the Pro Bowl. Yes, that is the card, as soon as I saw it, that I needed from NT. The patch card of Brandon Fields. I'm weird, I know. You think, oh, Marino, some Tannehill stuff. Sonka stuff, no. When I saw Brandon Fields, because he has nothing. So, you know, I love picking up stuff with guys that have nothing. So, 7 of 25... Brandon Fields. Now that's how you end a video with some punter action. I would talk about the Bulls with the last game, the last two games nearly giving me heart attacks. So I don't know if I'll be around. For, if another one like that, I don't even know if I'll be around anymore. But that last game, that's one of those games no one deserved to win. It was an ugly game, but shame the officials kind of screwed the pooch there at the end. But you know, both teams had their chances. I'm not. So we'll see. Hopefully the Bulls can pull it out tomorrow. Bye-bye. Punter action right there. Bang.